fellow detectorists. Yes, I'm back out again. And yes, here we are, up on my very first permission. Sorry if the wind is coming through a bit, but we're, we're at a lot of higher location this afternoon. And it's quite windy. It is Friday the afternoon. It's the 17th of March. I'm here for most of the afternoon. Well, until it starts to get darker, I lose the light anyway. It's a bit of a strange field, this one, a bit of a strange shape. You know, I'm actually in the corner of it here. And it was this corner where I found most of the bits that I found last time I was here. It's only a small field, it's only about three acres, but that's still big enough, plenty enough to go over a few times. Anyway, I'll get on with it. We'll see what we find. And as usual, you will see me at the first find. Bye for now. Hello folks, first find just down here and it does seem to be a coin but I've yet to give it a clean and just see what coin it is. Um, I can make out some stuff on it. Let's just give it a bit of a wipe and we'll see. Now that was some depth down there, that must have been probably a good seven or eight inches down. I just tip you up or down. And here's the coin. It looks like a Queen Victoria actually. It's not as old as I thought, if it is. Let's get that. Let's give this a bit of a rub. it looks like it to me from what I can make out at the moment Give it another spray. Yes, it looks like a young. Oh, you can see Britannia on the back there now. So I'll give this a clean up a bit later on. Let me see if we can't see any more on it and get a date. Anyway, that's a good start. It looks like a Queen Victoria penny. Lovely, let's carry on. That's the first find. Now folks, our next find has come from just down here and I don't think it's anything that special. It got me going at first, I thought it might be part of a fibula but it's not. I think it could be part of a buckle. 
but who knows. Anyway, let's carry on. Hi folks, next target is a very very small ring, I think it might be machinery based. There we go, that came from just down here. Still, we'll carry on, see what the next one is. Here we are folks, it's just a pistol ball or a musket ball, whatever you want to call it. I think usually the smaller ones they call pistol balls, I'm not sure. But anyway, there we go, we'll carry on, bye for now. Hi folks, next find down here just looks like a button as you can see on the back there I might be able to get some writing off of this later on anyway, we'll carry on bye for now Hi well, folks, next target from just down here, as you can see, is quite a nice little iron buckle. It looks fairly old, but it's the typical sort of buckle shape. Anyway, we'll carry on. Hi folks, just had quite a nice little find from down here. Don't ask me what it is. I think it's just, well, I don't know to be honest. But that's it, as you can see. clean up later on and just see what it is it might have been I'm not quite sure I was gonna say it might have been a part of a strap end or 
maybe a spare buckle or something like that but anyway as you can see it's interesting but like I say I'll give it a clean up see if it doesn't show anything else Hi hey folks, got another find here. This time it looks like it's part of a buckle. Anyway, let's carry on. Hello folks, I just had an unusual find down here. Um, at first I thought it was a lead bullet I think it is still lead but it's got a strange bit on it wonder what that could be maybe it is a lead bullet and that is the way it was cast or something but that is an unusual one anyway see you at the next one hi folks I just had a find here and I think it might be something quite good at first I thought oh what's this but I think it might be one of these oh they one of these horse uh, harness decorations something like that that's it as you can see it used to have a loop at the top and I think that's what that is but how about that strange. I'll have a look and see if I can't find anything similar on the internet later on. How about that? Very strange thing. Anyway, let's carry on. See what comes up next. Hello folks, just here, we've got ourselves another little button. See I can't even get away from the buttons up here. Never mind, I'm still glad to see them really. Anyway, let's carry on. Bye for now. Well folks, just had another nice little find here. I don't I haven't had many of these. But this is quite nice. It's quite a nice little bag seal. And you can see an imprint on there as well. I'll give this a clean up when I get home and see what the imprint is. On the other side there's another kind of a, a stamp impression as well. quite nice, I quite like that. Anyway, carry on.
Hey folks, just had another little find here. And this one's a bit unusual. I'm thinking it's probably part of a buckle, but I'm not 100% sure. It came out from just down here. And there it is. And what is that? It's a strange, very strange shape. I don't think it is part of a buckle. It could be, I suppose. Just part of it. Anyway, let's carry on. It won't be long before I'll be going home. But let's see what we get on the way back to the car. Bye for now.